are towed. And there's been a lot of complaints over the last several months about a specific towing company accused of predatory towing. Drivers, even lawmakers, have major concerns about high prices and the number of tows from coal towing in Spartanburg. It's affected a lot of people who live in a handful of upstate apartment complexes. So 7 News looked into what's behind the frequent towing, and we learned coal has an invitation to tow and rights under the law even as the list of complaints and concerns continues to grow. They wrote pass not filled out. We first met April Worthy in February. And that's why they towed it. She had just paid $315 to get her Ford Expedition out of the towing yard. Two weeks later, this single mother of two was towed again at 6 a.m. because her parking pass had expired by six hours. I looked at my lease agreement and I looked over it, over it very well and it was like after 24-hour notice, that's when they can tow. They're supposed to at least um, give us a 24-hour notice and put um, a note on, on the vehicle. It's like they're enforcing something, but you can't go against your own lease, can you? We took that question to her apartment complex, the reserve at Hillcrest. Property manager Jennifer Lines declined an on-camera interview, but over the phone she told us these three letters informing residents of changes to the towing policy were all the notice needed by law. How does sending a letter that's not signed by residents because take precedence over a lease that actually is signed by residents? Um, according to the law, if we're going to change anything in the lease, which we are, and that is to tow them for certain things, then we have to give them a letter with a 30-day notice, and we gave them way more than the 30-day notice. The letter doesn't say that it negates the required 24 hours notice on the car to be towed that's in the signed lease, though. So, isn't it a violation? No, it's still not a violation, but you can think what you want to think. Simply placing a note under someone's door or putting up on a bulletin board does not cancel this provision out. Attorney Andrew Hart is one of two lawyers we check with who maintain disregarding a lease provision like the 24-hour notice on the car is not valid unless it's approved by the tenants in writing. There is a pattern that we see through this lease being violated that's harming the same people the same way. Um, so when we see a situation like that, I look at unfair trade practice being a possibility, absolutely. I've had neighbors to get their car towed two and three times out of a week. And yet the person who has faced the blame at council meetings it was my money for the month. is this guy, Chris Cole, owner of Cole Towing. I think he's a nuisance and we're going to revoke his license. Cole granted Seven News an exclusive interview. We haven't done anything wrong. He hasn't talked to the press in years, though he's had many conversations with frustrated people like Worthy. I stood outside in the cold with my daughter for probably about 20 minutes begging him to let my car down so I can just go to work. If you're patrolling these apartment complexes frequently, how is that not predatory towing? Well, because we're, we're simply following the rules of the apartment complex that set forth. Cole's attorney says his client has been under scrutiny ever since he got hit with 70 charges of illegal towing in Greenville County two years ago. They were all completely dismissed and expunged from his record. The problem is, is that story still exists. It exists on the Internet. His lawyer filed this lawsuit last month against the Greenville County Sheriff's Office. It states in 2015, Cole had, quote, towed and removed the cars of two family members of the department. And the lawsuit goes on to claim the charges were, quote, to exact revenge, intimidate, punish, and destroy Cole's business. The Greenville County Sheriff's Office can't comment on pending lawsuits. Still, there are plenty of tenants who insist, history or no history, the main beef against Cole is twofold. First, his price, $135 more than what Spartanburg County and city charge. Yeah, I think $285 is excessive. Still, David Floor with TCB Towing admits Cole is not breaking any law. As with state law, they don't set a cap on it or anything, so you're allowed to charge whatever you would like. But I guess it falls back to moral judgment of uh, what you, th you know, what's fair to the people, uh, you know, that you're towing. I spent $636 all together, and that's car payments that I need to make on my truck now. Cole says his prices are higher because his tows are more like impounds, more dangerous, with his staff getting attacked even, and require two men in the truck at all times. Beyond price, some tenants also take issue with the fairness of certain tows. They're trying to trick you. Jawan Whiteside's girlfriend filled out a visitor's parking pass for two days. The rule says the pass, quote, is only valid for 72 hours. She got towed because she didn't write three days. They want it filled out 100% right because they want to know who's coming in there, who's coming out. How is out. that not right, though? Because uh, it's 
three days. They're supposed to put the third day on there, and they've but been told that. But she wasn't staying three days. She was only staying two. They told they were told that if they're not staying three days, to fill out the pass for three days. It's unfair. It's ridiculous. The reserve stands by its parking policy and also wants to make one thing clear. Myself and the reserve at Hillcrest is not profiting from the towing. Worthy plans to honor her lease and not a day longer. Now I feel like I'm not safe because anything, they can take my car, I can wake up one morning and, and there it go again, it's gone. And I can't afford that every time, I, I just can't. So the city of Spartanburg passed an ordinance back in May that caps towing charges and Cole is fighting that in court. Also, he's fighting the city of Welford, which has tried to take his license away. Yeah, there's a lot of money involved here. A few hundred dollars, that's a lot to people. Uh, well, how about the fight over the ordinances? In the meantime, while that's going on, yeah. is, is Cole's towing obeying the ordinance that is in place? He is. As far as the, the cap, uh, he had, I did talk to him today. He said it has really affected his business. He's lost about 50% of his income since May 10th when that um, cap was enacted. Um, so it is affecting his business, but of course, that, that shows there's a lot of people that it's affecting as well on the other side who aren't having to pay that much extra money. All right, we'll see how this all turns out.